Good morning, it's Devora. It's In Story Live. It's Monday morning, and I want to talk about making moments into miracles. And right now, it might not seem like a miracle, but behind me, well, you can't really tell the wondrousness of it. You can see the photos, but I came out to my spot to run and there was Mount Hood illuminated by the early morning sun and it's winter and and at the same time I was listening to one of my deep spiritual teachers his name is Shlomo Katz he's a rabbi in Israel and he graciously posts his teachings online good morning Carrie Ann and he was teaching something so deep and as I was listening I pulled up and I saw this extraordinary beauty of Mount Hood in all its splendor arrayed in front of me at the same time as I was listening to the splendor of the spirit arrayed within and in that moment it brought me to tears it's a kind of tears that are the overflow of gratitude of the soul and they they lift us up and remind you no matter what is happening there is a wondrousness available to you and that was exactly what he was teaching was how do you tap in to the kind of faith and trust that allows you to feel that you are loved by God and that what is happening is for your benefit even if at first glance it doesn't feel that way how do you expand your consciousness to something so huge and so filled with love that it contains the pain rather than the pain containing you and you know, and for me as a Jew, my tradition, we have the Holocaust in our background. And one of the women who was listening to this class said she had read a story where one man in the, in, literally in a concentration camp, heard a rabbi in the camp with him saying a blessing. And in that moment, the first man was like, how can you say a blessing in such a beyond horrific circumstance and the man who said the blessing didn't answer because he was in the middle of his prayer years later that first man found this rabbi they both survived and he said your ability to say a prayer praising God in the most deep horror changed my life forever in the moment I couldn't feel it but the fact that there was somebody even one person who could see the good through all that evil changed my life so I always take a deep breath when I hear these stories and I don't I feel the smallness of my being at the same time as knowing that we all have this vast incredible wondrous beingness in us <laughs> and if you are a leader of others it requires us to be in this more expanded consciousness and Rabbi Shlomo Katz said you have to talk about this how do we maintain our faith our trust our joy our love how do we expand into that in hard times and one of the important things about this teaching is that this is the work we do on ourselves. When someone else is teaching, it is not up to us to tell them that it's for their good. Because it hurts, and hurt hurts. Then you love them up with all your being. But your work for you and my work for me is to do that inner expansion. And, and this, is, this is my absolute commitment, is that I do this work so that I can stand in my leadership. I lead a group called the In Story Way. It's the In Story Way to create and live an illuminated life. I gotta work on it, <laughs> right? I have to lift myself up. Otherwise, how am I supposed to lift up the next person so that that person can lift up the next person? And I do it. I do it every single day. And I'm in the middle of hosting the Path to Purpose Project, which is an interview series about the stories of women who have lifted themselves up to bring amazing works into the world. And 
I just know we're meant to do this. Um, and it's my deep commitment to do this transformational work for others. And I have honestly seen the lives of the women in my community, the women that I'm their coach, right? And they are changing. I mean, they, every day somebody in my in-story group says, this group is a miracle. And you're going to see some of them on the in-story path to purpose project. And if you want to be one of them, message me, send me a private message, start this journey. It's being asked of us. and we are capable of so much more than we ever thought possible and I am truly seeing that in the extraordinary work that people are doing one of the women in my group came in so scared and fearful and now she's doing sessions for people she's creating a website she's speaking on my summit she's she's saying everything I had before now it's coming out and someone else said, until this group, I never ever accessed my imagination. I shut it down as a child. We get it back. You get to get it back. <laughs> so do something to nourish your soul, to uplift yourself, to expand. I always say, breathe yourself bigger. Breathe into that very, very big, big place of love and expansion, of joy and trust. And know you can do it. And don't think you have to do it alone. We're on this journey together. Grab a friend, reach out to me, help the next person. We're in it together. So sending you all love and blessings. Message me if this meant something to you, if you're on a journey yourself. And everybody remember to go out in the world, share your story, live your purpose, and be a blessing. Bye. <laughs>